No more passwords, no more key cards. A microchip the size of a grain of rice could actually make access as easy as a wave of our hand, and a company in Wisconsin is offering it to their workers. 50 of them have said yes to having that chip implanted under their skin. Our Paula Tupman explores the story that has so many people talking today. Paula. Karen, this actually happens to me a lot. I can't find my card access key to get in from the garage into the studio. So I basically stand in this vestibule like a puppy, locked outside, or I kick the door in hopes that the receptionist hears me or somebody actually walks by. That's, oh, hey, Freddie, how are you? Even better yet, somebody walks in behind me. But what if my hand literally became the key? And here's another question. What would George Orwell say? Larissa gets it. She works at CompuWare, and she jumps through a whole lot of hoops to get into her office space. We have a badge, and you have to have both the key card and your badge to get in. You slide when you go to the parking lot, slide to get into the building, and then slide when you're all the way into the building past the security. Okay. So you have to get in, and then we get to your floor, slide in again. Asked if she would be willing to be microchipped for workplace convenience, and she said, heck yeah. And this way I can slide, and it's me. No one else has my hand. But not everyone is on the technology bandwagon. I don't feel like anyone should be monitoring every one of my steps all day long. What about when you leave the office, stuff like that? This is science fiction stuff. We saw it in the remake of The Manchurian Candidate. Somebody put an implant inside me. I found it this morning. Jeff Inglesby, Chief Information Security Officer for Flexible Plan Investments in Bloomfield Hills and former director of the Cybersecurity and Intelligence Department at UD Mercy weighs in. Great for animals, um, great for shipping containers, um, knowing where they are when, they, when they're shipped, when they leave a port, uh, not so great for humans. He believes the very concept is rife with danger in terms of what information is being gathered and how it's being used or could be used in the future. If you require this chip to be waved over some kind of a reader every time you enter different parts of the building, if the reader is on your keyboard, they know when you're at your seat, they know when you're in, you know, not at your seat. Anytime information about a person is taken automatically and put someplace, we need to be really careful about the privacy of that person and the ability of a, an attacker to get that information. When it comes to human and chipping humans, the number one concern should be privacy. You know, our, our cyber expert also cautions that procedure and legislative oversight has not been put in place right now that can control what employers gather, how they gather it, where that information goes, and how they use it. Indeed, my partner, uh, Matt Wilson, and I found lots of early adopters who were willing to take this chance, but most of them said, you know what, I'm going to stick with this because, as usual, technology has outrun the rules. Karen? I think I agree with them. Sometimes old school is the best school for some folks. All right. Thank you, Paula.